In this first basic drawing of the coyote, I'm going to introduce you to my basic drawing strategies that you will apply to the majority of your drawings from this day forward. Those basic drawing strategies are draw lightly using simple shapes to get proper placement and proportion while constantly comparing your drawing to what you are drawing. When sketching out your drawing to get proper placement and proportion with simple shapes, remember to draw very lightly. If you can see the pencil mark, then it's dark enough. Notice here when I erase the lightly drawn circle, it virtually disappears. Whereas when I try to erase the darker circle, it leaves a ghost image. You won't want to commit with a dark line until you are very certain you've got everything sketched out lightly first. Draw a light and a dark circle on the back of your paper to try this out for yourself. For these first few drawings, I'm going to want you to extend the guidelines that I've provided on the example sheets. You can use a ruler if you wish, but it's a good idea to try and get used to freehanding them as a way of training both the eye and the hand. And to help keep our cartoon coyote vertically aligned, let's draw a straight line up and down the center of the paper. These guidelines are going to help us place our simple shapes in the correct location. I'm going to start off by drawing a circle for the shape of the head. I'm drawing lightly and sketching in a light, loose, free manner while comparing the size and location of my circle to the circle that my mind and I see on the example. I'm going to repeat the exact same process for the belly. The only difference is that when I look at the belly, it seems to be a smaller circle than that of the head. For the torso, I'm going to draw kind of an upside down U shape. But it's not exactly just an upside down U. Take a look at the angles, see how it's angling outward. Also make sure that you're placing the shapes within the guidelines. We drew those guidelines for a reason, so use them. Next, I'm going to draw the legs. Notice how they are angling inward towards the feet from the belly area. Draw the feet using elongated horizontal ovals, but the ovals are flatter on the bottom than they are on the top. Remember to constantly compare your drawing to what you're drawing, so right now you should be looking at the feet and making sure that they are in the same location and of the same size as the feet on the example. Well, this is a pretty good job of drawing the larger basic shapes. In the next video, we'll continue to move from the general to the specific, first adding the medium-sized shapes, and then moving on to the smaller shapes and details.